Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. A quick little machining job today that came in. Farmer wants me to take two of these raised face flanges and he wants me to machine down this face here to leave more room between them. If you're not familiar, the one is exactly the same. So these raised faces is where the gasket sits. In this case, it's going to get a green garlock gasket because I'm not a fan of uh, red ring gaskets. And that spaces it off when the two pulleys meet. Got to focus by this distance here. So it's easier to get wedges and stuff in there. Now, the setup this farmer has, what he really needs to do is cut it out and put in a dismantling flange, which is made for taking stuff out. This is going to be part of a flow meter. But I understand dismantling flanges are expensive and you know there's a lead time on them instead for removing purposes in the future he wants me to shave a hundred thou off each one that way he has a, a proper set of flange spreaders that clamp on both sides and they have a screw that spreads them apart and he'll just use that for replacing gaskets or taking the gaskets out for disassembly these are 150 pound gaskets uh, we are going to be taking some material off. There he's running 60 PSI. So, and these, have anyone, all you guys in the pipe business know, especially these thicker flanges, they're way overbuilt. But of course, you know, if this was any higher pressure, I would not recommend modifying the flanges. Even though in the same application, you get by with a standard flange that's about that thick. But I always recommend to anyone welding, to get these thicker flanges. You can make up a lot of misalignments and stuff with them and all that. So, we've got it checked up in the uh, Read Print the Slave. It's running within, oh, five thou, which is as good as you're gonna get with these flanges. So let me get a tool set up and we'll get to cutting. Of course, it's gonna be an interrupted cut because there's a bolt circle there. So yeah. And there's nothing super precision about this. We're making a, a gap bigger between two flanges. So let me get the lathe set up and I'll bring you back. Okay, I got it up in the lathe. I took a quick skim chuck to take, or skim cut to take the uh, paint and some rust off it. Got you back here, I think you're close enough. I need to get a better tripod for this camera because the lathe really vibrates through it. So I'll bring you along. Again, we're shooting for 800 thou. So, yeah. Lathe kicked on here.
trying a new insert that my buddy swears by for interrupted cuts. Got about 50 thou to go. Pot here for a second. Like I said, my machinist buddy. Let me try these new inserts for. He swears by vendor up the cuts. That's a perfectly smooth surface finish. Excellent surface finish. And it's making nice blue chips. And the tip is holding up. Okay, I'll make the last couple passes. And then I'll clean up this edge here where it meets that. I'll bump it up and then I'll chamfer it. I'll bring you back. Okay, so there we go. Came out really well. That finish is just perfect. It's hot, I can't touch it. It's uh, a thou and a half over, but by the time this cools, it'll be perfectly good. I did skim this off to make, you know, it parallel and all that. Is that cut or did a does it fuzz this from a rag? Just smooth. There's not a ripple in there. And the cutter held out through that interrupted cut. So very cool. I'll get the information on that cutter. Kind of like the light effect on there now. So yeah, pump those guys out for the farmer. You know, less than an hour for both of them. So, very cool. He'll be very happy, and this will accomplish what he wants to do. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.